Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I'm going to put two OS's up against each other. I'm going to test to see which one can bring up my Asus E faster. In my last episode, I went ahead and put the solid state drive in the Asus E. If you go back a week, you'll see that last Tuesday. So, since then, I went ahead and downloaded Ubuntu 11.04 with its new Unity desktop. And I wanted to see how fast it would come up. I got into an interesting discussion with a fellow um, worker who basically insisted that Ubuntu will run faster than Windows XP. Now I already have Windows XP on this Asus E, so I went ahead and installed Ubuntu. Ubuntu allows you to inst uh, do boot the machine basically. It'll resize your Windows partition and it'll create another partition and install itself on it. So I have my netbook dual booted with Windows XP and Ubuntu 11.4, so let's time how long it takes to get to the desktop. To get started, I'll go ahead and hit the power button. And what this will do is bring it up to the first screen that is installed by Ubuntu, which is called the Grub. And it's basically a uh, bootloader that allows you to choose, and I'll go ahead and zoom up here, which operating system to boot up. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Windows XP first and we'll go ahead in time to see how long it takes to bring up that desktop. I'm going to bring my G-Shock here with my finger on the start button once I find it. And we'll go ahead and I'll try to hit it the same time as I hit the power button here. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> when I hit the enter button here. Ready, go. And this time it was 21 seconds to the desktop. Now this can vary a couple of seconds. <laughs> um, it's kind of strange. I did this uh, one time before and it was an extra second or two. And I think when I did this test originally, well that was from a very cold start and not from that first screen. I think it was like 24 seconds. But for this, we'll go ahead and Again, there's the time, 21 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and reset. And we'll go ahead and reboot the machine. Now I'm doing this in one continuous shot so you can see that I'm up not up to anything. I'm not trying to favor one OS or the other. I have no vested interest in either one. Okay, this time we're gonna go ahead and start up Ubuntu in its normal mode. Again we'll get the timer here. And I'll get ready to press the button. Try to do it on camera here while I press the enter button. And it's hard to hold this thing. I need to get a a regular timer one day. All right, ready, set, go. All right, it was a little slow in there, so I'll give it the half a second. But it's 24 seconds, and that has been pretty consistent. And uh, I'll even give it a second, because I was kind of late on the draw, so 
let's say 23 seconds. Still two seconds faster than Windows XP and I've done this test several times and it's usually just a couple of seconds longer so right now Ubuntu 11.4 um, just is a teeny bit faster and for those of you who have never seen Ubuntu 11.04 this is sort of what it looks like uh, this is exactly what it looks like I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit here get situated so I'll get most of the desktop on the screen and as you can see they added this launcher on the side now this is a little bit smaller than normal I went ahead and changed the size if you download Compiz um, config Compass is already running on here but if you get the Compass config you could go into the settings and resize this launcher and I made it smaller since this is a, a netbook and real estate is um, not there's not very much real estate on the desktop so I wanted to increase it. even though this moves out of the way for instance I'll go ahead and just start up the word processor here which now they use LibreOffice instead of OpenOffice thank you Oracle and you can see how that bar just sort of scoots out of the way now one other thing that um, it took me like a day or two to figure out I'm going to zoom out a little bit so maybe the focus will stay a little bit better or maybe I need to get a sharp edge here I'm going to zoom just out a little bit to help it stay in focus um, one other thing is let's say you want to reorder these icons on the launcher now I was trying to move them but as you can see the whole launcher will start moving when you try to move it and then I, I asked a person at work who was already doing this he goes you just gotta click and drag and I'm like look I did it and it doesn't change anything and he goes no you gotta click and hold it dummy <laughs> so for example I'm gonna go ahead and click and hold the Libre Writer and then you can move it see that so you have to click and hold and then you could drag it to where you want it as far as the order of icons so pretty neat I'm gonna play with this see if it's uh, what I want to make permanent on this netbook as far as the EOS that I keep on it I'm sort of going back and forth whether to keep XP or to just go Ubuntu so far I'm, I'm liking it I wish that this launcher bar could be put on the bottom but as of now in in this video you cannot and Ubuntu doesn't seem to indicate that they're going to change that in any way they should uh, let you do it if you want they should make it user um, user changeable I, I don't like it when they put their politics basically into their software they're like dictating you know it should be here because it doesn't take up as much space on a widescreen and that's our philosophy our, uh, our philosophy I don't want your philosophy in my operating system you should be able to customize that any way you want just like in Windows you can move your taskbar on any four quarters I want to put this here. Quite frankly, two seconds really doesn't make much of a difference. So, you know, Ubuntu, XP, really not much of a difference. And if you watch the OS after the desktop comes up, Ubuntu actually sort of it really is done booting up while Windows XP is still doing some other things. You, you might see the little hourglass going even after the desktop so you know I think uh, all in all I would call it a draw <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and probably leave Ubuntu on here I'm, I'm probably gonna take do boot off and make it strictly Ubuntu and use it like that and see how much I really start liking this OS uh, so far so good again I wish the launcher would move launcher bar would move around and maybe some hackers or uh, developers will figure out a way to do that or you can download a third-party 
bar that sort of looks very Mac-like. There's some really nice ones out there, and I can't remember the name, so I apologize. Um, also, if you hadn't already noticed, I finally went over 5,000 subscribers. I didn't even realize it. It sort of snuck up on me. I had no idea. Or I would have uh, already planned a, yep, a contest. So, um, stick with me. I'm probably going to have some sort of 5,000 subscriber contest to show my appreciation to your dedication to my channel and, and support. So... Uh, with that, I'd like to say thank you very much, friends, viewers, subscribers, for sticking with me for some reason on my quaint little um, Gear Obsession channel here on YouTube. I'd also like to thank those who serve in the military and who have served and uh, police and firemen and other public servants. Thank you and have a wonderful day.